Four months ago, I decided I was going to do an experiment. I bought five pairs of maple drumsticks and five pairs of hickory drumsticks. In a bid to answer the question, which one is better, stronger, durable, or better balanced? For reference, the comparison was made from my usual 5B's natural hickory Promark drumsticks and Todd Zuckerman's signature maple drumsticks. Now both of these are very similar in size, so I thought they were a good comparison. There's no shock on the weight. Maple is the lighter of the two woods. And when you play with the maple stick, it's like air drumming. It's amazing the difference you'll feel between the two of them. This will become very apparent when you drop one of the maple sticks and pick up a hickory. The difference you'll feel straight away. Now, this is going to affect the balance of the drumstick. Balance meaning that when you throw the stick down, the stick comes back to you at an acceptable fast rate. I personally found that when I was playing with the maples, I have to force the stick a lot more than I would with the hickories. That's not to say that the balance was bad in the maple, it just felt like I had to work a lot more to get the stick to come back to me. Which leads us to sound. You would think the heavier the stick, the louder the sound. And the lighter the stick, the softer the sound. It's just science. And you'd be right, in my opinion, the hickories were just that a little bit louder. Are maples as strong as hickories? And the answer is yes, but in a different way. Maple doesn't chip, but hickory does. Maple will dent, but hickory will not. So who cares if it dents or chips? It doesn't really matter. Well, it does to me, and here's why. One of the things that drives me crazy about hickory sticks is the tip of the stick you will find that that will break a lot more often. And when I say break, not completely, it'll just chip off at the tip. Now, this is important because if you're a bit more intricate drummer, say you do an awful lot of doubles and whatever, you will find that every time you try and hit the stick with the tip, you're not gonna have a straight directory. So when the tip of the stick is perfect, it's gonna come hit the drum and come up at 90 degrees. However, if you have a drumstick like this one, which is chipped, you're gonna throw down the stick and it's gonna not come up at 90 degrees. It might go slightly to the left, it might go slightly to the right. And the tip of the stick could chip on a hickory drumstick literally five minutes into breaking out a new pair of drumsticks. It doesn't mean that the stick is completely banjax, it just means there's a little bit gone off the tip. If you're someone who doesn't do an awful lot of intricate sticking, but then it doesn't matter. But if you do an awful lot of intricate stick work, and there is a chip on the tip of the stick, well then you're gonna find you're not gonna be able to perform as well as you should. So just get a nylon tip. Hate them, can't stand them, I don't want anything to do with them. Now as you move down from the tip of the stick to the shoulder, down to the butt end, hickory is a lot stronger. And it's gonna last a lot longer. Here's the thing, when it's over with maple, it's over, and that's it. Once it breaks, it breaks, and there's no way that you can use it or play it again. You can't drive the life out of them any more than they've done. It splits from the tip, right down to the end. So if you're a frugal type of person and you like to get the longevity of the stick, you play it when it's well past its sell-by date. Maples are not for you. So in conclusion, if you're a more intricate drummer, you like a lighter sound and feel, and you don't mind paying a little extra for drumsticks, then give maples a go. However, if you're a more straight-ahead rock drummer, a little frugal and like a more balanced drumstick, and don't mind playing with a chip tip, then hickory, in my opinion, is your best bet. But you should try and buy both, because you never really know until you sit down and try it for yourself. Frugal and like a bit more of a mm -mm. Which leads us, I think with the maple stick, it's definitely... And when balance being how the stick, when you balance... And don't mind playing with chip tips. Jeez, that's hard to say. Ugh! The hickories were a lot... When I say a lot. And you'd be right.